Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. Today in this video lecture, I am going to discuss biography of Ralph Waldo Emerson and along with this, I am going to discuss one of his important work titled as Nature due to which or by publishing this work, he was able to start his writing career. So he was born in Boston, which is situated in Massachusetts. He was an American essayist, poet and philosopher. He was considered as main leader of the transcendentalist movement. So he was best known for championing individualism, self-reliance and transcendentalism, which were key principles of his writings. He began his career as a Unitarian minister. So he was licensed as a minister, after which he was ordained in a Unitarian church and became Unitarian minister. He married a lady called Ellen Tucker in this year, 1829. After marrying her, tragedy soon stuck upon his life as his wife Ellen died of tuberculosis, which made him or which made him realize that there is no God, there is existence of no God. So he have a kind of crisis of faith and so he decided to leave the clergy. This particular incident devastated him and took a heavy toll on his religious faith. Following year, he travelled Europe. He met several figures who inspired him greatly, including Samuel Taylor Coleridge Wordsworth. So, he visited in a place which is uh, called as Concord, C-O-N-C-O-R-D, and a natural beauty which exists in this place called Concord and its environment attracted him so much that he started uh, living there or he decided to finally settle uh, here at this place which is called as Concord. Emerson became a local hero and people call him Sage of Concord. He was a founder and co-editor of literary magazine titled as The Dial which was published in the year or which was started in the year 1840. There are few ideas which Emerson considers as an important and those ideas are that we need to connect somehow with God. We need to form our union with God and also he prefers subjectivity. He means he prefers personal and conversational style while writing works. He stressed to be optimistic. Uh, this sort of optimism in Americans provide them a hope to run further in life. America as torchbearer of human history. So America is a kind of inspiration for others. So this um, America tries to set example for others. And then he urged Americans to be independent thinkers. So he emphasized Americans should not rely on others. He insists Americans not to look for Europe as models. Then he favors self-culture movement. So uh, which emphasized by uh, favoring this sort of movement, he emphasized that individuals have access to the eternal truth of nature. Truth resides throughout creation and is grasped intuitively not rationally so we are able to grasp truth or true knowledge with the help of our intuitions and we are not able to grasp true knowledge with observation or experience he considers himself part and parcel of god so he considers himself as part of over or supreme soul here i am discussing some points related to this work which is titled as nature so this is a sort of long prose essay published in the year 1836 contains an introduction and eight chapters considers as the landmark work of transcendentalist movement so this work is a foundational text of transcendentalism which emphasizes the importance of intuition spiritual experience and nature's role in human understanding 
Emerson held nature which provides spiritual and moral significance to his life he saw it as a source of inspiration and considers it essential for personal and spiritual growth first edition of this work contains a passage describing the primacy of spirit and human understanding over nature so human uh, beings should understand or they have a kind of realization that there is someone or there is a there is an existence of supreme soul which is governing this whole universe so they try to establish a kind of connection with god who is residing in their heart कि लोगों को अपना कनेक्शन गॉड से फॉर्म करना चाहिए जो कि कहीं ना कहीं गॉड उनके दिल में रिसाइड करते हैं प्रीफेस इन सेकेंड एडिशन एम्फिसाइज द यूनिटी ऑफ ऑल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ नेचर ही टॉक्स अबाउट दैट हाउ एवरी थिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्स इज रिलेटेड एंड यूनिफाइड विद ईच अदर एंड द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ नेचर्स फॉर्म वॉट एवर फॉर्म्स एग्जिस्ट इन नेचर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सॉर्ट्स ऑफ फॉर्म्स एग्जिस्ट इन नेचर दैट इज एम्बेडेड इन मैन कि नेचर के अंदर जितनी अलग अलग फॉर्म्स एग्जिस्ट करती है वो कहीं ना कहीं मैन के अंदर वही सारी क्वालिटीज पाई जाती है नाउ हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेचर अकॉर्डिंग टू इमर्सन ही लेमेंट्स बाय डिस्करेजिंग नॉट टू एक्सेप्ट traditional knowledge of the past because that sort of knowledge is not a kind of true knowledge which is only based on observation and experience this is not a reliable source of knowledge instead he emphasized that we should imagine god and also try to form or establish a connection with god or experience god by looking into our own insights only then we are able to feel his presence and nature we also experience or make ourselves believe that in all sorts of natural forms that exist in nature there is kind of existence of god god is present everywhere in nature so he laments by discouraging not to accept the knowledge and uh, knowledge and traditions of the past instead of experiencing god and nature directly in the present he emphasizes importance of individuals developing a direct and personal relationship with the natural world rather than relying on uh, solely on societal or cultural constructs nature is a reflection of the divine that we already know that whatever exists in nature different different forms that is a reflection of god and an embodiment of universal truths so whatever things exist in nature that contains that too contains universal truths so this may be considered as a sole reason that is why we need to immerse our soul with nature or we should try to connect ourselves with nature to make ourselves feel presence of god all around he argues that nature provides a deeper understanding that surpasses what can be gained through formal education or literary works nature excels all knowledge gained through formal or literary works all our questions about the order of the universe may be answered by our experience of life and the world around us and these things can be only known to us if we uh, make ourselves connect with nature so in this way emerson maintains that nature is a superior teacher one that can reveal profound insights into the human experience then emerson says that each being is an image of god so each individual who lives in this universe is a manifestation of creation and possess the ability to discover mysteries of this universe and also he holds the key to unlock mysteries of god that is this power is only given by god to human beings then nature is a sort of expression of the divine and a means of understanding we are able to understand about nature and make ourselves connect with 
God only with the help of presence of nature. Solitude which exists in the nature is a symbol of divine presence and nature led human beings to understand it. It is only through solitude that humans can attain completely what nature has to offer them. This solitude dissolves human beings into nature to or to become part of this natural world and made them to leave behind all preoccupying activities as well as society. It made them or it compelled them to leave whatever activities they are performing in the present or uh, also led them to stay away from the society only in this loneliness the state of loneliness they are able to make themselves feel presence of god goal of science is to provide a theory of nature so this science helps in letting helps human beings in letting them know about nature why nature is essential or what importance the nature hold in their life only by living in peace or calmness we gain from nature what it offers us so in peace or calmness we are able to know about we are able to feel about god and uh, when we are able to feel about god then we are very well able to connect with them we understand mysteries of this universe and also we are able to know significance of human life why we are born this can be known to us when we live in peace or calmness for that we have to attach ourselves with natural world nature and human beings have inseparable from uh, from each other so they have a kind of reciprocal relationship they shares a kind of reciprocal relationship with each other spirituality as the main theme of human life spirituality this sort of spirituality made us recognize or, or it gives us a feeling or sense or belief that we consider that there is something which is greater than ourselves and greater whole of which we are part is cosmic or divine in na nature here immersion highlights what different different things that nature sought to offer to human beings so first it acts as a commodity uh, he believes that nature provides us with essential commodities such as food water and raw materials for materialistic wealth and economic growth then it also acts as a kind of reflection of divine beauty and a source of aesthetic pleasure observation of natural beauty can inspire and uplift human spirit leading to a deeper appreciation of life and a sense of connectedness with the world around us importance of nature as a source of inspiration for language and artistic expression observation of nature can expand one's vocabulary and ability to communicate effectively by immersing oneself in nature one can find new terms metaphors vocabularies and vivid descriptions to enrich their writing and complex ideas and also immersion considers the discipline of studying and observing nature as a means of personal and self improvement by regularly engaging with nature fosters discipline and self control as it requires patience attention and ability to stay focused this discipline can also be applied to other areas of life which leads to ultimately leads to personal development and spiritual growth in this way nature served as a useful source for human beings then with this this video lecture ends here hope this video lecture will help you in your ugc net english literature exams thank you